Last week, the U.S. Fed Powell said the economy faces a long, uncertain recovery. But despite this, on top of the horrible U.S. economic updates, the U.S. dollar managed to hold its head up against the other major currencies. Across the pond, though, the British pound took a beating once again on rising Brexit fears, terrible economic data from the U.K., and geopolitical and pandemic issues putting pressure on risk assets. Welcome to the TickMill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the TickMill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. This week we'll be eyeing the UK employment change, Canada's inflation rate, as well as the ECB monetary policy meeting accounts. Today, I'm looking at the dollar Swissy pair, which has continued within the symmetrical triangle chart pattern we identified weeks ago. As the range narrows down, there is less opportunity for range traders, but we could also be reaching the end of the calm before the storm, depending on which direction the pair breaks out. Uh, we could see a brand new opportunity. The dollar Swissy typically bounces within the wider range between 1.01 and 0.92 in the longer term. Since the pair recently visited the lower range level, there is a higher chance we'd see the pair break out towards the upper range level this time around. Now, do you think the bulls will outweigh the bears? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Zikmil YouTube channel, and we'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.